everybody, my name is Jenna and today I'm going to be doing a spoiler free book review for The Call by Pere Ogulin. This book is set in Ireland but it is an Ireland that no one can enter and no one can leave so it's very cut off from the rest of the world and basically the inhabitants of Ireland, I'm not sure really how far in the past, I didn't really get that from the novel but basically sometime in the past the people of Ireland kind of banished the fairies to a place called the Greylands and what's happening in this novel is the fairies sort of call teenagers one by one at any time in their teenage life so you're sort of always waiting for this call. You end up in the Greyland where you have 24 hours to fight your way out basically and if you survive that you get to come back to the real world and live but most people who come back are either sort of mutilated or just a very different, very broken obviously because I can imagine, well I can't really imagine going into the Greyland, I think it would be awful and horrific and I would never 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 want to go there myself. The thing is though in the real world it has only actually been three minutes since you have been called so those people who have been left behind if they see you go they count out three minutes and then they hope 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 that you return alive but odds are you are probably going to return dead. So the book itself actually follows Nessa. She is a 14 year old cripple who is desperate to survive the call. She does not want to die. She is determined because everyone told her you're going to die but she is determined. She's going to make it. Throughout the book we will see other characters who are going through something similar. They all are desperate to survive this call but a lot of them know they won't as only one in ten actually survives. So like I said before this review is going to be spoiler free so if you haven't yet read the call don't worry you won't be spoiled for anything if you watch this video. However I do highly highly recommend that you go out and read it. It is a fantastic novel. So I ended up giving this one a 4 out of 5 stars. I was really impressed with it but I did have some issues particularly in the form of characters and also the ending. The ending sort of left a few unanswered questions for me and it kind of left me thinking that there's going to be a sequel. I feel like it's been set up to have a sequel but I wasn't expecting it. I was actually expecting it to be just a standalone but after reading it now I think it'll work better as a duology which I'm 90% sure that we're getting one but nothing's been officially announced yet. So in regards to the writing style in this book, Pere Ogulin has a very unique writing style in that each chapter, while the book focuses on Nessa herself, each chapter sort of, especially when it comes to the call, anytime a teenager, apart from one time, anytime a teenager is called we actually sort of get to see them, at least with the characters that we've met and we start to get to know, we actually go to the Greylands with them and so we get to see the Greyland through their eyes and get to see what happens to them which is really really damn it Laura it's election day in America while I'm filming this and my sister and I have been messaging like non-stop about it but so what was I saying? <laughs> yes, yeah, so the writing style for me was very different but it was also very descriptive and made it really creepy. Like there were some really disturbing images in this book and the way that Padera Gulen was able to sort of describe these disturbing images meant that I got a really vivid image in my mind and then I got really disturbed and had to put the book down for a good like weekend. So this book was really good in regards to world building. So obviously as I said we have Ireland but it has been cut off from the rest of the world so society is very different from the Ireland that we know if we would go and visit. So basically, because these teenagers are kind of, you know, always dying when they go off to the call, the people of Ireland are like, right, okay, so we are very, very gonna quickly die out if we don't do something. So they've instilled all these academies that teenagers have to go to from I think the age of maybe 12 until basically until they get the call because odds are you're not gonna make it through the academy without getting the call. And these academies are just about surviving. So it's all these survival skills that they try and teach them and unfortunately it's not enough for most students, which kind of sucks. But because of that and also because of the really descriptive language that the author uses in particular when we get to the Greylands, the world building is done really, really well. And one of the things that I love the most about world building is that when it came to the Greylands, we didn't get a proper image of what the Greylands actually was. Like I still couldn't tell you what the Greylands actually properly look like because we're getting accounts from people who have actually gone there and that's the only time we get together as well. So the only time we see the Greyland is we see whatever that character sees. And so it's really awesome to see that because it means that there's this whole other world that we don't really get to explore fully so it's always kind of in the back of your mind like oh but what if they did this but you have no idea whether they could actually do it. In regards to characters however I wasn't able to connect with any of the characters like I said before Nessa was 14 in this novel but honestly I did not pick that up. My friend actually had to tell me that she was 14 I had no idea I thought she was 16 or 17 for sure. None of the characters who were 14 were acting anything like 14 year olds. I mean yes I know it's 
set in this sort of almost dystopian society where people are dying all the time and they need to sort of toughen up but even then even growing up in that world especially because Nessa sort of says in the beginning of the novel hey parents don't let their children know until their 10th birthday what the world actually is and why their older brothers and sisters kind of disappear after a while so growing up like that and then being thrust into this academy and told oh yeah by the way you're gonna have three minutes to save your life sometime soon some of the things that these characters did I thought were very not right for the age that they're supposed to be but apart from that I did sort of get to like the characters most of them I didn't really get to know at all there were quite a few characters that I just couldn't tell you anything about them but the ones that we did sort of get to know I did start to like and lastly the plot so the plot for this book is really unique it's one that I haven't seen in a really long time I just <laughs> when I first heard of it I just went this book sounds incredible it sounds so different that I really 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 want to read it and I'm so glad that I did because the plot is very simple it's basically just about this girl who wants to survive the call so as we get through the novel we sort of start to see more conspiracies and other things are sort of starting to move and happen but again like I said the ending was not very satisfying like it was satisfying in regards to Nessa's storyline but in regards to any other storyline that they'd introduced in the novel nothing basically so I still really really enjoyed this novel and I definitely definitely recommend that you go and pick it up just don't expect all of your questions to be answered by the end of the book. In saying that though I do think we're getting a sequel because on Pedro Gulen's Goodreads page it does say that they got picked up for two books and both of them had to do with a girl in Ireland fighting for her life so I kind of feel like that's our sequel but nothing's been officially announced yet but I mean let's all keep our fingers crossed. So thanks for watching this spoiler free book review of The Call. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below if you have read this book and what you thought or if you were planning on picking it up at any point. If you like this video be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye!